In this video, we'll look at everything you need to know to run Reveal Q Plus Max for aflatoxin using the Raptor system. The Raptor system allows you to add sample and walk away. It's that simple. This presentation serves only as a visual guide to the written materials supplied with the test kit. To ensure accuracy in the performance of this test, please read and follow the test's written instructions in their entirety. Remember, it is important to use good laboratory practices. This includes wearing proper PPE and ensuring that all equipment is working properly and is calibrated in accordance with your laboratory's policies. Each kit contains supplies to test 25 samples. The kit includes test strips, clear sample cups, red dilution cups, one bottle of sample diluent, and one box of Max-1 aqueous extraction packets. To conduct the test, you will also need an agri-grind or equivalent grinder, a scale capable of weighing 10 grams, accurate plus or minus 0.1 gram, a timer, a reveal sample cup rack, 50 milliliter graduated cylinder, distilled or deionized water, a 250 microliter and 400 microliter pipetter and tips, sample collection cups and lids, sample collection tubes and caps, filter syringes, Wattman number no. 4 filter paper or mini centrifuge and tubes, a Raptor integrated analysis system, Raptor cartridges. Remember to always store the test strips in the stay dry tube at room temperature. The kit should be stored at room temperature when not in use. Do not use kit components beyond the expiry date. To prepare the sample, begin by gathering all the materials required. The sample to be tested should be collected according to accepted sampling techniques. See the FGIS sampling protocol or contact your Neogen representative. Obtain a representative sample and grind so that at least 95% of the ground material passes through a 20 mesh sieve. The particle size should be about the same as espresso. It is best to grind a minimum of 100 grams of your sample. The sample is extracted with a ratio of one part sample to five parts of distilled or deionized water. For this example, we're using 10 grams of ground sample with 50 milliliters of distilled water. Each sample uses one Max-1 aqueous extraction packet. Weigh out the sample, add the Max-1 packet, then add the distilled water. Vigorously shake for three minutes using hand or mechanical means. Allow sample to settle and filter with a filter syringe or Wattman number no. 4 filter paper. You can also pipette the sample into a 2 milliliter micro centrifuge tube and centrifuge for 30 seconds. It is important to collect at least 3 milliliters of filtrate through a single filter syringe for optimal sample accuracy. For each sample you are testing, place a red dilution cup into the sample rack. Add 250 microliters sample extract to the red dilution cup. It is important to make sure the pipette tip is fully charged with liquid and doesn't have any air bubbles prior to dispensing the liquid into the cup. Next, add 250 microliters sample diluent to the sample cup. Mix by pipetting up and down five times. It is important to mix thoroughly. Place a test strip into the Raptor cartridge. Place the cartridge in the Raptor system. You can use any of the three ports. The Raptor system reads the barcode on the strip. If you need to add the lot information to the system, the scanner on the front of the system will turn on automatically. Scan the QR code located on the strip tube. Enter a sample ID if you like. This can be done manually or if you barcode your samples by using the scanner in front of the system. Pipette 400 microliters of sample into the Raptor cartridge. The system and timer will start as soon as it detects the fluid front on the sample strip. You can now start samples in the other two ports on the Raptor. Each port operates independently. After the six minute testing time, the Raptor displays your results. 
for samples greater than 50 ppb, you will need to dilute and retest. Add 100 microliters of sample filtrate to a sample collection tube. Add 500 microliters of distilled water and mix well. Transfer 250 microliters of the sample dilution to a red dilution cup. Add 250 microliters of sample diluent and mix well. Place Raptor cartridge into port. Add 400 microliters of sample to cartridge. Result will be displayed. Remember to multiply your result by the dilution factor. For this example, multiply by 6. Contact your Neogen representative for questions or for more information on this or any of our products. Test with confidence. Test with Neogen.